Okay. So we're are we in group E now? We are, aren't we? So we are now into group E of the 2021 TGC Tours World Cup design. We are playing Rocky Plateau by Baby Bull, who might be the nicest man to have walked the face of the earth. Or so I have heard. So, Rocky Plateau suggests to me that there's probably going to be some rocks here. What do we have starting out? Did I play rock? Uh, I played it as part of a stream, yeah. Hey, Once Upon a Time. Yeah, I played it. Um, I forget what... I played it the same stream as I first played um, Ardfell. There you go. There you go, mate. Oh, that's right. He is a Dirty Ankle Mafia Society member, isn't he? Okay. Long par four. Annoying hazard there, but we can fly it. There's the rocks. Hang on, that's split. So, oh, so right's better. Right's a better angle by the looks of things. Left is... Yeah, left makes you go over the water. So then... But the right brings the bunker into play. Ooh. You have just a little sliver of fairway if you go right. The rocks are out of bounds. Okay. Hmm. Oh dear. Bunker time. Did I enjoy it? Um. Uh, there were some things about it I didn't love. I'll go. I'll go that far. Yeah, this bunker. I mean, this is a. This is a harsh opening hole. When we oh, but rock ball incoming. Oops. Jeez, this is barely going to get there. Yeah, it... Yeah. <laughs> I don't want I don't want to get myself in trouble. I played it. Um will it end up on YouTube? Maybe. Uh, if it does, I'll have to play it again cuz I don't even know if I played the right version. That's that's part of the problem is I don't know what version I was supposed to play. Um but the way I played it on that stream, it wasn't YouTube worthy at all. But what the way I played it and not because I played crappy, it was because of just how I was playing it. I wasn't. I wasn't. Um, I was I, like, I wasn't playing it like a typical playthrough. I just was kind of whipping through it. So. Yeah. I didn't what Axel. Hmm. Okay. I mean, again, these, you guys know how to frame like champs. This is crazy how good framing it is. Bit minimalistic, which not in a critical way, just in an observational way. Oh, right. I didn't play the right version. Yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know which the right version was. There was three of them, and I'm like, okay, which is the one for the World Cup? <laughs> so that right there, that's that's an issue for me. Is it? If I don't know which version I'm supposed to play, that's that's a bit of a problem. This is a bit of a breather hole. I did see the green though, so it's not like it's easy. It's just Zzz. okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I heard there was something about rough, and eh, I don't know. I'll have to play it properly and then have it because it, I mean it's a World Cup course it needs to go up on with all the other ones that I've played Okay, 
I saw a lot of red on the green there. I mean, the green I thought made sense for the length of the hole. For the shot you were putting in. Hmm. Yeah, I think... I think I might have played one course in this group so far. The Rocky Plateau, Kootenai. It's Kootenai, by the way, Mayday. Sus I've played Sussex Downs, and I've played Kem Cl Kate Clements. Okay. I played Sussex Downs because it was in Jack Wagon Tour, and Kate Clements I played it when it was being when it was being considered an alternate. It was one of the first ones I played. All right. So there's only one more to play in Group E that I after this one. Yeah, that that was one part I didn't love, but. Okay, so again, uh, experienced designers, when they put slopes and greens, they don't necessarily always have them hurting. So we've got a tough pin to get at here, but we've got a ton of slope to help us get over there if we want it. So we can use the ground and run it in. Um, but if you miss it, you're not going to have fun on your putt. Or I guess, you, well, no, this should be about right. Easy. Yeah, I'm going to cast a slope now. Over it comes. Just too much club. That's all. Kootenai. Plus the downs is pretty awesome, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting there, David. I mean, I always, I always did that with my irons, though. That wasn't the adjustment for me, it was the driver. Yeah, I, nice par 3. Um, again, love the idea that it's not just... Like a typical new designer would have created... Would have put the pin three boxes from the edge. Would have had runoffs and all kinds of crazy stuff. Well, and don't... I mean... GC Lumina, Chant Lumina was an absolute disaster for Mayday. Champ Lumina. Chant Lumina, and I'm not even saying it right. Je peux parler en français un peu, mais my accent's terrible. Alright, so here we've got the entire world to hit it into back here if we want it. Or, we take driver and we challenge. Well... Challenge accepted. <laughs> Fair point, Mayday. Fair point. We could just- people could just start naming their courses something sensible and then everybody would be fine. Everyone would be fine. Really kind of subtle the bunkering here. Um, might be because the texturing of it's not hugely contrasting with the grass. You almost don't notice the bunkers. Hmm. I wonder if that was intentional or not. Ah. You may breath. Uh, in my no, I don't have a good British accent course course design because um, I, it would be it's a it's a Geordie accent that I can do and I can't do it on demand. Um, what like what? Because the thing you have to understand too, dude, is that island has about fifteen different accents. It's unreal. Like, first of all, by British, do you mean English? Because the Scots and, and the Welsh would um, like to have a word. And their accents are quite different. Scottish especially. Welsh, Welsh is a little harder to hear it, but it's there. And then if you do mean English... Um, which English do you want? Do you want Geordie? Do you want Manchester? Do you want Scouse? Do you want Brummy? Do you want Cockney? There's there's so many. It's 
It's crazy. I can't do Manchester. Yeah. And the thing is, that, and they're, they're similar in that um, you have to kind of know them to hear them, right? Like, I know them because my parents are English, so I can hear North, like, Northeast accent real easily. Um, one of my dad's friends was from Birmingham, so I could, I heard his. Um, that's the one, that's the type, I, there were no Cockneys where I grew up. It was all, like, Northern. And then a bunch of Scottish. Huh. I kick right, other right, bugger. Shoot, well placed. Uh, par five king. Uh, can I get three wood out of here? It might not be a great idea. Hmm. I can get it out. Can't get it there, but I can get it out. No, Birmingham, not Birmingham. Birmingham. Yeah, Football Factory, he's as, as cockney as it gets. My God. Danny, what's his name? All right, Charlie, man, take care. Yay. Drove in the bunker, made par, and air birdie anyways. Okay. It's, it's... <sighs> hmm. It's a little... What's the word? I'll, I'll get back to that. <laughs> Can't find the word I want. Not... Oh, oh okay. Well, red slow's not as bad as red fast. Especially when you got all that over there. Yeah. Um, Snatch has got... Snatch, they're a bunch of Cockneys too. Oh, we're slowing down. Often happens about this time. Start hitting everything slow. Good read. <laughs> hey there, J Ray. Oh, uh, that's another good one, too. Yeah. Don Cheadle's Cockney and Ocean's Eleven is great. Awesome, Colin. It's great having you here. Um, thanks for hanging out, and I uh, look forward to seeing you again, buddy. Cool. Yeah, it is, Lisi. I think, like, TH is an F to them. Oh, God. Anyways, let's not get into a battle over that. Mm, a little faster. It, it, I mean, the thing that I really struggle with is, like, let's just, British Isles, let's just focus on England. It's not very big. It's way smaller than the province I live in, right? It's probably the size of Southern Ontario, maybe. And you have that many accents in that small of an area. I just, I don't, I don't get how accents, I don't get how we get them in the first place. It's just crazy. Um, but fascinating at the same time. We're slow now, really? I didn't feel slow. All right. Yeah, this, I mean, this course is, it's, it's good. It's just not really, there's nothing about it that's making me go, I want to play this again. Like, there's nothing about it making me say, I don't ever want to see this again either. It's just, I don't know. 
I feel like I play it once, I kind of get what it is, and it's nice. Which, again, I'm holding courses to higher standards, and I probably should because it's the World Cup. But it's, yeah, it's tough when you've got some of these outrageously good golf courses. A nice golf course is a bit. It's gonna get it's gonna get run over a bit. Um, it's unfortunate because I we I mean we know Baby Bull is a great designer. Okay. Because right now, yeah, right, that comes alive. Yeah, it needs to come alive. Perfect, Trail Ducker. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I was trying to say. It just, it feels a little bit kind of, yeah. Think you'll make a fine judge one day? <laughs> Thanks, Payday. I heard he had one. <laughs> I... Well, slow, slow, red facet right into the uh, heart of the fairway. I know your next course should be called. Axel's a twat country club. There, that's fixed. Let's see Baby Bull course without the rock. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't played enough Baby Bull courses to really have an opinion about that. I mean, rocks aren't my favorite thing, but they, they're fine here. The reason I don't like rocks is if they're in play, they, they're they unpredictable, and I don't like that. And I mean, I don't... And, and I like Lynx courses, so I know I'm going to contradict myself in saying this, but rocks are just... They're too unpredictable. They can go absolutely anywhere. And the ball hits them. I think that's straight. Broken axle? Yeah, that works. Oh, I like that one, Mayday. Broken axle. Golf course, golf course? Yeah. Paradise City? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's it. Uh, yes. Very nice. You could do it something in Swedish to really screw Mayday up. Oh, I don't like this out of bounds. Mm, okay. Air fast this time. Hmm. Be nice to me. Thank you. Yeah, like that. Have fun with that one, Mayday. Suscon as Suscoterscans Golf Club. Suscon Yuscones Yuscoterscans. Am I close? Yuskonas, Yuskotera, no, Yuskonas, Yus, Yuskoterskans. No, no, never mind. Ikea Golf Club, man, that could work. Solid try. Cool. Thanks. I know no Swedish at all. Hmm. I. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, uh, hmm. Okay. So, again, the, the, I mean, this almost goes without saying with you guys. Um, you, all the experience designers. Anytime there's a central hazard, it always makes sense. So, the right hand side is a little bit, it's narrower, gives you the better angle. Left hand side's wider, gives you not the good angle. Um, I hit driver all the way down there. I've got a wedge though. So do I worry about the angle as much then? And I've got a side, like what almost ends up being a spark stop. So yeah, I think I just go down there. <laughs> or I just red, fat, or red slow it straight in the bunker. That one I knew. All right. Um, I have to get a bit more assertive with that stick push up. Green contouring needs to be left to right. Oh no! I actually I thought the green contouring was great, David. Perfect. Don't t don't change a thing, baby bull. I love that. Hmm. It seems to fit the land. The land. The left side of the fairway needs more room to breathe. Okay, I can get on board with that. Neut it does neutralize the choice off the tee. You're right, because you do coming at it from here. You do have what it would affect if it ends up being um, a backstop. So it does kind of take away the reasoning for going down here. And again, if I don't hit it in the bunker, I'm going to have like 130 or something. So am I overly worried about angle at that point? So I, I, I understand what you're saying, David. Um, but it would look awkward if it went the other way because it would be completely contrary to the, the land. So. Oh, have a good one, Alan. Thanks for hanging out, dude. Yeah, it's it, yeah. No, I'm, but he makes a, he makes a very good point. Um, so maybe if the entire hole had sloped the other way, I don't know. It, that one just didn't quite work because this, the, um, the split fairway, it didn't really have its intended effect. All right. This is probably not the right shot, but, Ooh, especially not if you do that. I'm so sick of slowing everything. This could be a problem. Bounce off the rock. It went through the rock. Okay, Forrest. Have a good one, man. <laughs> now we're going to spray it over here. This is really getting more and more like real golf. Snap hook your first one, so then you slice the crap out of your second one. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. So missing it over, hitting it over the right, you're coming down the slope, which kind of sucks. See, I think my issue with this one, and this is my issue with rocks in general, is it ends up almost forcing that to be out of bounds. Um, and it, I just hate internal out of bounds. And that's as much a problem with the game as it is the design that you just can't put a hazard there. It has to be water. But it makes it like, would I take that shot on if I was playing? Not now. But I mean, we have to keep in mind that this course was designed before the game changed, so if I could red fast that and I have a pretty good idea of where it's going, I'd probably take it on. Now I don't. So that, that's going to be hard. It's hard for the judges to um, keep that in mind that the game changed. There we go.
I don't know about that ridge being there. Um, how long was this hole? I mean, I was hitting a four iron, my 184 club, 200. I mean, it's doable. Like, you can fly the ridge and then it'll, you, you can keep it somewhere near the hole. It just seems I didn't miss that by much and I'm not even on the green. I don't know. Hey, Pat. Oh, I, always, I, I do one every day um, until I'm done all of them and then I won't be doing them anymore. Uh, but then we're going to be doing some other stuff. Do as much as I can. Not, yeah, okay. Yeah, no, it it it's 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 an unfortunate thing. Um cuz it does completely change how all the courses play, right? And the courses weren't designed for and whether you were red faster or not, even people playing for perfect snuck into the red on occasion and it didn't get punished anywhere near as much as it does now. So, it completely changes um it completely changes the entire game and it changes the design changes everything about it okay so everything left is ob so it's the same ob as before so at least it's consistent but uh, i don't like ob no no it wasn't there we go yeah i can see that i didn't know they were gonna do i i mean i kind of hoped they would but i didn't think they would I thought they were just going to say, oh, well, screw it. We'll, uh, we'll deal with it in the next game. But no, they listened. Short four. The green makes sense for a short four. Oh, my God. Two perfects in a row? Who is this guy? I mean, pitches are great when you get the tempo right. The problem is getting the tempo right so hard. I'm finding, like, so, for me at least, the bunkers around the green aren't seeming to be horribly in play. Um, yeah, that's a good point, J-Ray. Uh, will they lose people in the next one because of it? Who knows? It'll be, I mean, you can always play a lower level, like, so whatever. Golf's hard. Get over it. Um. Yeah, more OB. Oh, and we're towards the end of the property now. Okay. I agree with you there, Mayday. I just think there's going to be people who are going to be, it's too hard now. And they would have been that way had they got it at the beginning. Because remember, a lot of people struggle to break par playing on like pro. So there are people out there that prefer it to be more arcadey. Hmm. This is interesting. I honestly, I would have liked to have seen a bit more of this throughout the course. Where there's, I mean, it's, it's a bit of a wall, but it's not crazy deep. I like where it's situated. I feel like there's some something going on around the green now, whereas before it kind of hasn't been. Jeez. I know, but, but you know how people are, Jay, right? They don't want to. I mean, I think the majority of people play on pro. Like, I think that's where the majority play. Oh. And they struggle. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you. And, but I also think people don't want to do it. Because the other thing is that for the game, the career mode kind of sucks. Right? So the only thing that would really make you keep playing is societies. Like TGC Tour. 
um, and then you're locked into what that settings of the society are. So, yeah, you can change the difficulty, but sometimes you can't. I kind of can't too. Majority, yeah, probably, David. I mean, I would have thought Pro would kind of be the sweet spot, but maybe. Um. So again, I get what we're doing. I just, I'm not sure I would want to try and go down there because it's. But is that out of bounds, right? It is. Jesus. Um, okay. So we'll aim it here. And we'll pull it down the left fairway. <laughs> okay, that works. Yeah. Yeah, I, that's, I agree, Mayday. And honestly, I th I, how many people are continuing to play this game who aren't playing Societies? Saved it all for last. Well, I, I mean, I, I, I think Kanak was the one that said this, and I agree with them. You need your first three and your last three to, to wow him, right? And I just, I've been kind of going along here. Not hating the course, but kind of, again, understanding it's very well made and it's solid, and but also understanding that there's some amazing golf courses out there that this is up against. Um, so. Kind of just a little bit, little underwhelmed, maybe. And now we're starting to get into some holes. I'm, oh geez. Now we're starting to get into some holes that I'm enjoying a lot more. Um, I I I kind of wish we'd seen more of this. Like the the I, this is great. This I I really enjoy this. Um, little par three. Not gonna be easy, but I don't think it's unfair. The bunkering is light years better than what we've had up until this point. Um. In my opinion, I just, I enjoy this kind of a bunker. That's got some teeth to it. Um, and here too, right? I like seeing some slope in the bunkers. Like, in, like I just, I don't like flat boring bunkers. I like them to have some aggress some aggression to them. That's me. Uh, and then you've got the view behind the green, which is awesome. Yeah. I, I would have loved to have seen this all the way through. Because if you think of like the first, the bunkers have basically been there. They haven't really been particularly noticeable. Like I mentioned that at one point, right? I haven't really noticed them. Now you're like, oh, okay. Yeah, uh, this hole I really enjoy. 17 more, please. Ah, hit it too hard and didn't give it enough break. All right. Yeah, it's, it's, I like that one. Really? My face is too hard? Huh. Oh. Sometimes, Maddie. I do what I can, Axel. So we have two. What did we, we go? Did we go five three five here? Yeah, we did. Okay. Um, not. I don't have an opinion about that one way or the other. I just I thought I was make sure I noticed it right. Uh, so shorter way home if we try to cut through there. I just it's too narrow. And would it have been too narrow with the old driver? I don't know. Oh, no. Get on the ground. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
Here, I can do it. Friendly, yeah, it was a friendly help hat. Um, and this is where the game changes monstrously because I can't just pound a driver at this now. Uh, and is that OB to the right? Yeah, damn it. Oh, look at this. Able to run it down the hill. Yeah, now we're going back to this this kind of bunkering. Oh, I wish we had more of the bunkers on like this style. What hole's that? Is that nine over there? Yeah, that was nine. More of that. The I just these bunkers are just so kinda eh. Give them a little bit more depth, a bit more teeth to them. Would have been great. And then, yeah, I, I, I don't like rocks, so, yeah, but. They just, there, there was so much OB. Shots and shambles, yeah, that's about right. All right, Jerry Ray, get the extinguisher going, buddy. Have a good one. Thanks again for all the emotes, man. Appreciate that. It's uh, been, it's fun. <laughs> it's really fun. Hopefully you guys can see now I can take a joke too. Finish with an eagle? Why wouldn't we? Really seeing the power of shadows. Oh, maybe, yeah. Okay, so maybe that was a bad example, but the one's on 17. There's something about the ones in 17 really kind of jumped out at me, but. But then, yeah, that's another good point. So we end up five under. Okay. Um. I don't know. How much of this is my. Bias against rocks playing into it. And bias against OB in fairness. Yeah, good point, Mayday. I think the other thing was, though, that because the, the the bunkers, like the texture of the bunkering and the rough was very similar, and the green, actually, the, the fairway, too, they just didn't really stand out that much, and I'm not sure if they were meant to. Um, and I went out of bounds twice, didn't I? Yeah. Went OB on 1 and OB on 12. I, and, and so that's just <laughs> uh, I just don't like them and I and part of it's because then you have to make them out of bounds otherwise you end up the rocks just don't play right like there's one of them that hit the rock and bounced off and it went right through the damn thing and I'm like that doesn't make any sense the physics is a bit messed up with them um but, um, yeah, so then you got to make it OB, and there's just, OB is so harsh. Um, I don't know. Uh, it, it's a good course. Like, it's not, it's not that it's a bad course. It's just, and maybe this is a compliment to Baby Bull. I was expecting more from him, because he's, I know how good he is. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. I just, I just feel like it's, it's, it's okay. It's good. Nothing at all wrong with it. Just, I don't know. I was hoping for better, I guess. I don't know. And I, I agree with somebody mentioning that we'd like to see him get away from rocks and, and try something different. I, I agree. Not just because I'm biased against rocks. What I hate about World Cup, man. This, I, World Cup is great, except for this part right here. We're an entirely good golf course. We're, like, disappointed. Or, I am, sorry. It's just how good all the other, like, it's just all the designers are so great that any of you guys create a course that isn't amazing or like, oh, crap. It's, um, the bar is so high. I don't, I just don't think it's fair anymore. 